Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Easy Tutorials, and for those of you who are the first time in this channel, please consider subscribing. Today we'll be creating this. Before we start, I'd like to invite you to support me on Patreon. You can also get access to all my premium content. In this tutorial we'll be using the Easy Tools script, which is free to download. So let's start. Those who don't have the Optical Flares plugin, will have to import this file into After Effects. You can download the project files and the templates separately, this way you will be able to create this slower third animation even if you don't want to download my template. You can find both links in the description. Create a new composition, and name it, Lower Third. I'm using a full HD 1080 pixels preset, with 30 frames per second, and 10 seconds long. Create a new null object and rename it, Color. Search for Color Control, and apply it to your layer. I will change the color to blue, but you can use any color you want. Select the Rectangle tool. Make sure to unselect any layer. Change the fill to Solid Color. The stroke to None and draw a simple shape. Don't worry, we'll change it later. Change the shape layer name to, Base. Apply the fill effect to it. Now, select the color layer, and click here to lock the effect controls panel. Click on effects, fill. Alt click on color. Grab this pick whip, and parent it to this color control. Unlock the panel. Select the base layer. Click layer, layer styles, and select bevel and emboss. Open the bevel and emboss properties. Change size to zero. And soften to one. Click on rectangle one, rectangle path one. Unlink the size values. And change them to 800 and 110. Search for, transform, and apply it to your base layer. Change the skew axis angle to 90 degrees. And the skew to 20. Duplicate the base layer. And rename the new layer, black. Delete the fill effect from it. Change its fill color to black. Open its properties, click on content, rectangle 1, rectangle path 1. And change the size values to 780, and 100. Duplicate the black layer. And rename the new layer, gray. Change its color to this shade of gray. Select all three shape layers, and move their anchor points to the upper left corner. Open their position options. Then, change the X position value to 580. And the Y position value to 485. Select the Horizontal Type tool. Align the text in the paragraph to the left. And start writing your tagline. I am using the Source Sans Pro font family, with bold italic style, and 50 pixel size. Open its position options. Move the anchor point to the middle left position and change these values to 630. 
and 535. Select the base layer, and duplicate it. Bring the new layer on the top, and rename it, bar1. Open its properties, click on content, rectangle 1, rectangle path 1, and change the first size value to 20. Open its position, and change the x value to 155. Duplicate it. Open the new layer's position options, and change the x value to 120. Duplicate this layer too. Open its position options, and change the x value to 85. Move to 15 frames, and create position keyframes on all these three layers. Move back to the first frame, and change the x position value to minus 900 on each layer. Select all the keyframes, and easy ease them. Then, open the graph editor and change their curve like this. Select these four layers. And open the position properties. Move to one second, and create keyframes on position. Move back to the first frame, and change the X position value to minus 900 on each layer. Select all the keyframes, and easy ease them. Then, open the graph editor and change their curve like this. We've created the layer's movement, now let's offset them. Select these three layers. Move to 5 frames, and change their start time. Unselect the black layer, move 5 frames forward, and change the start point. Unselect the grey layer. Move 5 frames forward, and change the text layer's start point. Now, Select these three layers. Move forward 10 frames, and change their start point. Unselect the bar 1 layer. Move 5 frames forward, and change the start point. And finally, unselect the bar 2 layer. Move 5 frames forward, and change the start point. Our animation in is ready, and it looks good. Now, let's create the out animation. Move to 8 seconds and 10 frames. Select all the layers, and reveal their position options. We'll start with the first layer. Copy its keyframes from the beginning and paste them on the same layer. Move 5 frames forward, and do the same with the second layer. Move another 5 frames, and repeat the action with the third layer. The fourth layer keyframes ends at the same time with the second layer keyframes, so we'll have to go back 10 frames, copy the keyframes and paste them. Now, move each time 5 frames forward, and repeat the action with all other 3 layers. Select all these keyframes, and click here to time reverse them. Great, we have the out animation too. Select all the layers. Check this box to apply motion blur, and click here to activate it. Create a new black solid, and name it optical flares. Those who don't have this plugin, don't worry. I will show you right after this how to use the pre-rendered optical flares file that you've imported. Search for optical flares, and apply it.
change the render mode to, on transparent. Select the pen tool, and draw a path like this, on the edge of the grey shape. Finish it around here. Change the positioning mode to mask. And change the mask from none, to mask 1. Select the color null layer. Lock the effect controls panel. Alt click the color stopwatch from the optical flares effect. And parent it to the color control. Unlock the panel. Click on Options, open the Light folder, and select the Beam preset. Change the scale to 50. Move to 1 second and 15 frames. Create a keyframe on brightness, and change its value to zero. Also, create a keyframe on mask position. Move to 2 seconds and 25 frames, and change the brightness value to 100. Move to 8 seconds. Select the layer, and reveal its properties with keyframes. Create a hold keyframe on brightness. Move 10 frames forward, and change the brightness value to 0. And the mask position first value to 1. The flare animation is ready too. Don't forget that from the control layer you can change the color to anything you want. It looks great, isn't it? Now I will show you how to use the pre-rendered optical flares file. Bring it into your lower third composition. Change its blending mode to, add. Apply the tint effect to it. Select the color layer, and lock the effect controls panel. Click here. Click on effects, tint. Alt click on map Y2 and parent it to the color control. The lower third animation is ready for you too. Now, let's activate again the optical flares effect and see the final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a color lined lower third in After Effects. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and comment. It would be great to know your opinions on my tutorials. Also, you can make requests for new tutorials, on interesting effects or animations that you would like to learn. See you soon.